ですね。うん。はい。エンジニアのスタッフ。あ。New question in the phrase for a new editor. Okay, but let's see. Uh, every email address has a local name and a domain name separated by the at sign. For example, alex.lico.com has its local name, lico.com its domain name. Beside lowercase letters, these emails may contain dots and parses. If you add periods uh, between characters in the local name part of the email address, they'll be sent for the same address for dots and name. For example, I guess this is like how Gmail does it now. Um, and if you can you see my mouse? Uh, I guess it doesn't show my mouse on the stream. Okay. Uh, hmm. yeah. But yeah, if you add a plus and local name, everything after the first plus sign will be ignored. Just allow certain emails to be filtered. So yeah, I also this is my Gmail. Again, this rule does not apply with domain name. It is possible to use both of those rules at the same time. Because if emails, we send uh, one Gmail to each address in the list, how many different addresses actually receive mail. Uh, okay, so basically, um, yeah, it's just, you t you're given an array of email addresses, you will, what you want to do is normalize them and then uh, put in a hash table or something like that, or hash set, and then just count the size of the hash table. Uh, yeah, I, well, I do love C uh, <laughs> when I do, when I use um, uh, when I use I will try to um, yeah uh, 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 I would definitely try to use sorry I'll distract a little bit uh, I would try to use Python for string parsing stuff just because it's so much easier um, to manipulate strings uh, and yeah, all right, let's see how far I can get oh I guess I should change I'm now when I'm kind of debating whether I should use a uh, uh, editor or just in in client. I, mean, I think this is simple enough that I don't really need to use uh, my own client per, client per se. Uh, and really good exceptions, right? Uh, let's go. Um, so the first thing I would do is okay. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward, right? So. Um, So I think the first thing I would do is uh, 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 tokenize by periods. Uh, oh, sorry, tokenize by the uh, add symbol. Um, hmm. I'm gonna lie. Uh, it's been a while since I used Python, so I think. Um, so there might be some uh, uh, try and error here, but I would say for you know. You know. Uh, uh, let me set up the hash set first. Uh, hmm. That tiny did it. Mm, okay. Well, um, and then I'll do something like oops, emails dot add uh, normalize email something like that. Uh, And then, uh, and then in this case, you just return you need start again, something like that. Maybe I, I don't remember the syntax. I could check that later. It's been a while. Um, uh, Usually, I would not, uh, uh, for these simple functions, I'm not used to using at least OOP like this where wrapping an object, but that should be okay. Oh. Uh, and then now I'll try to find the first, uh, the index of the uh, at sign. So, uh, variable names are hard, but it's all different now. Uh, hmm. It's still. Uh, Actually, never seen this interface, so I. Uh, hmm. So I'm curious. Uh, oops. Nope. Uh, if there's like I could one partial code or something, so I could just 
even uh, something like that. Um, hmm. I could do some kind of spread in Python. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, okay, fine. Oops. Actually, I don't I don't really like this in the page. Let me see if I could find a Python kind of what's it called? Interactive Man, which I guess I have one here, but uh, let me change the show. But all right, so that's this is my console. Um, I guess I need uh, it's more that I just forgot about. Uh, it's been a while since I've done Python, so you could have uh, say email is equal to that. Um, and then Okay, so that does what I expected to do. Um, okay, I mean, that's really good. Uh, just now I'm reading the uh, farm statement again, just to make sure that these inputs are kind of valid. I think something in, in concept, like for example, uh, uh, you can imagine a world where they give you examples like, you know, like, some ill-conceived uh, or something that's, I mean, so this still passes, but I'm just trying to see if um, we need to kind of consider that. So it doesn't seem like I need to. So so if I just do um, that and then, so that should be okay. Okay, fine. Documents, uh, oh, oh it's really good. And then we have to, ha as you know, uh, we have to handle the two um, uh, parts differently. The domain, I think the domain you actually don't need to handle at all. Uh, I'll do local name. And return local name plus. And obviously, this could be uh, uh, more efficient if I had. Um, this could be more efficient if I use something like a string. Oh, let me change it back since I'm editing here. Uh, this could be more efficient if we use some kind of like string buffer or something like that instead of just uh, uh, concatenation of strings. But I'm just kind of going for typing speed here. Uh, and now we want to remove all the periods. Um, Hmm. I don't remember the string that uh, replace syntax. I'm just gonna look that up real quick. Uh, ooh, no, Python. Oops. All right, can you see this? Okay, yeah, so I, I, I want, I'll do this live. Um, the Google, I would say during an interview, uh, at least as, as an interviewer, I actually don't penalize people for looking up uh, the API. Um, in general, I mean, you're balancing a lot of things and everyone knows that how, I mean, if, like, no, uh, 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 you may haven't done in a while, but it's all about like knowing where to look for things and stuff like that. So uh, eh, it, it, it's not a, I mean, memorizing API is not that, uh, you know, like it's not, you know, you have skills, everyone just stacks over for anyway. So I have someone like that. Um, so I think in theory before I, I, uh, one, I guess one code is different than submit. So I guess I'll see what happens when one code, uh, and can I, this, okay, well, I guess I could do something like, um, uh, no different. Something like that, or oh, huh, let me think. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. 
extremely fun. This man, I do not remember how to do any of this. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do. I do that format. Hmm. As you can see, I'm pretty rusty. Python. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I forgot the plus sign. That's right. Uh, okay, so that's fine. And oh yeah, so okay, so that removes all the periods. Let me. I'm now looking at the form to make sure that um. Okay, everything after first, but I start after will be four two. Oh, it tells you about that case where it has period and pluses. So and it does. It seems like in theory it shouldn't matter what's after or. It should not be operation dependent, so I'm going to try that. Um, yeah, so I'm, that should be okay. Oh no. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, you know what they say, now I should add some print statements. <laughs> hmm. See what's up. Man, I am really bad at getting the syntax part right. Okay. <sighs> so now I'm just gonna... Am I showing the right thing? Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, fine. Hmm, did I do that wrong? I thought I, that's what I did before. Hmm, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I had before. What was I complaining about? Can only concat list to this. What did I do? Oh, I'm just being dumb. Okay, so no, no, no. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, so that seems like it's okay now. Now that I, you know, used the proper. <laughs> proper string manipulation things. So I guess Python could be easier if you actually know what you're doing with Python, but clearly uh, <laughs> sometimes you're going to run into some issues. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just submit. I mean, everything looks okay. Uh, uh, I guess, it, and there you go. That's one problem down. It took me 15 minutes, which is longer than I like. Uh, but. Uh, let's go. Let's go do another problem. Um.